Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why your car battery keeps draining overnight. If you're trying to start the engine and the starter does not have enough power to crank the engine, maybe nothing is draining your battery. Maybe you have an old battery and it's time to replace it. If your battery is older than 5 years, it is time to replace your car battery. You can look for a label on the battery and it, it will tell you when the battery was manufactured. As you can see over here, this was manufactured in March 2023. Next, check for corrosion on a battery. Corrosion on a battery terminal can prevent the battery from charging properly. Next, check for leaks on a battery casing. If you see leaks coming out of the battery casing, there's a good chance the battery needs to be replaced. If you replace your car battery and the car battery is still draining overnight, there's a good chance something is on. Make sure no lights are on. For example, make sure the parking light is not on. Make sure the brake light is not on. If the brake light is on, that means you have a bad brake light switch. Also, make sure no light is on in the trunk. Make sure the dome light is not on. And also, make sure the light in the glove box is not on. If the glove box is broken, the glove box may not close all the way. And this can cause the glove box light to stay on. If you have aftermarket electronics such as a sound system or a navigation, make sure those components are off when the vehicle is off. In addition, if your large system starts to fail, it can actually start to drain the battery overnight. If you change your car battery and you check everything and nothing seems to be on and you still can't figure out what the problem is, it is time to test for a parasitic drain. To check for a parasitic drain, you will need a basic test light. You will need a needle nose plier to remove the fuse and relay. And you will need basic ratchet or wrench to disconnect the battery terminal. First, start by disconnecting the battery negative terminal. Use your ratchet and socket or wrench and go ahead and disconnect the battery terminal. Next, take the test light clamp, put it on battery negative post, take the test light and put it on the negative cable. If the test light is on, that means you have a parasitic drain. Make sure to remove the key from the ignition, make sure your parking lights are off, make sure all the car doors are closed, and make sure the trunk is closed as well. In this demonstration, as you can see, the test light is on and to find a parasitic drain, just keep disconnecting any random fuse until the test light turns off. Once the test light is off, go ahead and check which fuse was removed. For example, if you remove the radio fuse and the test light turns off, then you know the problem is the radio that's causing the issue. And you still can't find a problem after conducting a parasitic drain test, maybe you have a charging issue and the battery is extremely weak for not being properly charged. First, start by checking the serpentine belt or alternator belt, make sure it's in good condition. Next, pull on the belt and make sure the tensioner is good. Next, start your vehicle and set the multimeter to voltage. A good alternator should produce a minimum of 13.2 to 13.5 Votes. So again, if you have a charging issue, this can cause the car battery to prematurely fail and the car battery may not be able to hold charge overnight. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.